Greetings and welcome to another episode of Nellie's Test Kitchen. Today we are making some carnivorous mashed potatoes. Um, yeah, there's no potatoes involved. And honestly, I always think it's so funny. People are like, well, vegetables taste so good. Why do they always try to make them taste like meat? But here we're trying to make things like mashed potatoes. Anyway, let's see what happens. This is about four ounces of chicken breast, a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add plenty of salt because chicken always needs help. And some fresh ground pepper. Chicken looks like this because it's still a bit frozen, but I think I can make this work. So I'm going to cook this over medium high until the chicken is cooked through and has a little bit of browning to it. That looks perfect. I'm going to turn the burner off and take it off the heat. So I'm going to chop it up as finely as I can. You could use a food processor or whatever else you want to do. Editing Nelly here. Let me just say that in hindsight, I would totally throw this in the food processor the first time around instead of trying to chop it up because that's what I ended up doing. Going to add in another tablespoon of butter and turn, this, turn the heat on medium. It's about an ounce of cream cheese and some heavy cream. Actually, I am going to blitz it. This is my little magic bullet. Um, let's see what happens. Hmm. Interesting. Let's plate it up and see what happens. I was trying to think of what would go best with this. And I was like, I just, I think steak would taste so good, but let me try it by itself first. Hmm. Oh, that's yummy. You could go smoother. You can see I did not get it very smooth at all, but I think if you put this in a regular food processor, it would like really chop it up and then you get like a smooth consistency. But I actually, I like a little bit of chew. So that's fabulous. And now with some steak. Hmm. This is a really delicious meal. Oh my word. Yum. All right. I'm going to go eat this. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.